What's up? It's Conino here at Universal City Walk. Just gonna briefly, briefly tell you what my first time of MDMA felt like. My cat got it off the Silk Road in a dream, and um, it was that brown, crystally good looking shit. And uh, put it, I uh, parachuted it in a piece of toilet paper and uh, waited for it to hit. When it finally hit, it blew anything I've ever done out of the water as far as like what it felt like uh, for like euphoria. It was better than any ecstasy I'd ever done in my life. And uh, what it feels like, and I know you'll hear this and you've heard this, but it's very true. It feels like you're, you're jizzing, like you're having an orgasm out of every part of your body for five hours. And I just remember sitting there thinking like, felt like Selena Gomez and Jessica Alba were fucking me everywhere. And it was great. Um, I did around 500 milligrams in a night, but it started with 250. You only need 100. Um, this shit does not feel like a drug at all. It feels more like a natural, like release of serotonin. Well, Cause it is release of serotonin, but I wanna say natural. But yeah, this it's really windy out here, sorry. I would recommend this to, I wouldn't recommend this to anyone because it's illegal, but uh, my dog was saying how uh, he would recommend it to like married couples that are fighting a lot or someone with like an illness that they know they're gonna die like soon, like terminal is that what it's called? Like someone with cancer should do this shit, says my dog. Because it is seriously like, if you had the shittiest two years, you could have this and like it would make up for all of it. It's the best thing ever. But it's illegal, don't do it. My dog says you should do it. But what does he know, you know? Um, yeah. So I'm here right now at this place. And it was supposed to be open till nine, but they closed at seven, so I didn't get to go in. So I'm stuck here out at the city walk, just doing some videos, so. I did MDMA at school once and it totally changed from like fun to like just paranoid as fuck. The rules with MDMA is uh, don't keep redosing all night and um, trying to block the wind. And um, you know, only do it like one day and then wait a couple weeks at least because you want your serotonin to replenish. People use something called 5-HTP or 5-THP, these pills for that shit to bring your serotonin back up. It will not work if you're on a uh, SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor like Zoloft or Prozac or all those fucking gay ass drugs. It won't work, it'll make you feel like shit. If you abuse it too much, you will dull the neurons in your head that are like related to feeling good. So you won't be able to feel as good later in the future. I'm pretty sure they can recover, but they get dulled down a little bit. They don't, they don't die. But yeah, um, I don't, I don't want to, like, you could use this out of rave, but it's not long enough lasting, I don't think. It's more for, like, you and your best friend, or you and your girlfriend, or, like, just you alone, like, personally, in, like, a place that feels good for you. So, yeah. MDMA, man. One of the fucking the best drugs ever. One of the best things ever. Thanks to Alexander Shulgin and that person who made it up for him, but never actually synthesized it. That I can't remember his name. MDMA is a phenethalamine or phenethalamine, whatever it means. It's related to 2CI, 2CE, 2C, all that shit. <clears throat> the 2CX series. Anyways, I don't have much more to say. Um, I think my next vid might be about spice or some shit, about how fucked up it is, how crazy it can be. And uh, I did some videos earlier this week about bath salts, but I was acting like a fucking retard trying to be too funny in them. I might as well put them up anyways, because this is Florida, the bath salts, bath salts say. Bath salt state. Say that 85 times fast. <laughs> Anyways, Universal talking about drugs while people walk by. Over a river. I'll kill myself if I drop my camera. Good tripping, everybody. From hyperspace.